please welcome, we are creating the weapons from high on life and make them workable. What? Play, play. I start with Knife. He's my favorite one by far. And he's so friendly, mad, crazy, insane. He has different abilities. First and foremost, he's your primary melee weapon. If there's one thing this psychotic knife loves the most, it's stabbing things and people and alien and, well, everything which has a heartbeat. And then there's one ability which I really love the most, kind of reminded me of Indiana Jones. Tether to hackbacks and ledges in the game, in the levels, where you can use knifey to get to certain areas. And this ability was the one thing which I wanted to implement into the clay creation of Knifey. Very similar to the teacher functionality, which I did on the marionette from Little Nightmares. I'll link it right here, where the neck could grow very long. For today's creation, we have a straw as the inside filling. The colored cord inside can slide through and now we are coating and creating the face, this lovely smile from Knifey. The color of the teeth is a combination, a mixture of white and ochre to make them slightly darker. And for the eyes I just used white clay, gets this beautiful outline with the red and the black iris. And then we can think about creating the handle of Knifey with brown clay. I threw in some ochre as well to get a beautiful pattern. It could be leather, leather stripes. And now with the pattern and wrapping around another layer of very thin clay, it looks so authentic for a beautiful grip. And it's very easy to create and we come to the blade, which is also just a thin slice of silver clay. After often hardening, you can bring in gloss or some shiny effects with a metallic marker. But for now, it's going into the oven. And after often hardening, we have some last working steps, gluing the blade to the knot with some super glue. And now that we have created a knot, it can lock inside the hardened clay. I just love this moment when it slides inside with a quiet but tasty click. To create knifey you need red, brown, black, silver and some white clay plus a cup of straw which doesn't melt in the oven, the cord and, well, some tools. I've prepared the knifey set for you on clayclaim.com. Hey guys, I am starting with a firecracker for Gus, the weird frog-like looking alien with his funny bouncy eyes. I really love these eyes. He also reminds me of a crossover between a grasshopper and a frog. You know, maybe something in between. Yeah, and kind of like an octopus at the back and out of his body. Um, he shoots discs where you can climb on and decapitates the enemies with them. And sometimes there is an explosion as well, right? Uh, yeah, maybe because he's a living shotgun. And he's a really nice Gatelian. Yeah, the nice Gatelian next door. As you can see, the body is a tube-like skeleton for the firecracker and a shooting effect. I really hope to see a recoil and an explosion from the firecracker, which we will prepare for this special shoot. So it shouldn't really explode, it should just spread some fire. Um, therefore, we are using a drill, making a tiny hole where all the um, explosion can be released so that we don't get this huge push just a beautiful recoil and some fire shooting out. And I hope to see the tentacles moving up then with the tiny joints, which I also use for the marionettes as the main mechanism. Yeah, they are great. 
So that we can <gasps> achieve that effect that uh, you get when the, 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 this gas uh, shoots. The tentacles are straight all the time, but when he shoots, he spreads his tentacles. Yeah, like that. At least this is the plan. We will see how this will turn out. Can't wait to see. Now we get some details. Some pre-baked nails. And we're ready to go into the oven again. Freshly baked. And sometimes I pre-bake the stuff because uh, then you have a surface to, to to grab the figure and you don't deform everything that you have sculpted over hours. Yeah, because it's hours that we sit on a figure. So always have patience with yourself. Uh, the teeth was a, a nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, I can guess that, especially when it's getting really tiny. This is the handle, and we have the eyes. The last working step, I guess. Yeah, except for the polish. That it's coming to get that shine on his skin. Look at it. So slimy. It's like it's uh, soft again. And now let's make him shoot! Uh oh. can spawn babies and shoot them and they will do their duty and fight and explode and will die and I'm creating creature with with the cardboard roll aka toilet paper roll and Lego Lego technique is equipping us with the right stuff to shoot with alien babies. Cardboard toilet paper roll, then coated with the aluminum foil and also the Lego Technique pieces embedded. And now we get to the exciting stuff, coating with clay. To get different tones, different kinds of yellow, I mix in some white or some ochre, for example. This is the very disgusting pool of babies where they are coming from. Looks like a funnel, a funnel with tons of skin folds with some tiny beautiful details. Everything I am modeling right now should later match with the Lego pieces we are using. The arrows, for example, the good old Lego Technique competition stuff, which I used to have as a child, loved that stuff. I think these arrows are even from some of the sets which I had, I guess so. I still remember this one day, it was in summer, uh, it was holidays, I was sitting together with my brother on the balcony and we were building our sets from Lego Technique competition and then fighting all day long with these vehicles. <laughs> ah, the teeth, beautiful detail. The eyes are created, one layer yellow, one red and then the white eyeball right in the middle. The iris is a little bit more tricky to create. We have the black for the surrounding, a bright and a darker blue, which we mix together, not too strong, then coated by the black. And after it is rolled, it looks like this. Look at the amazing effect. And with the thin layer, we have two beautiful irises. Now the black dot and maybe a shiny detail in the eyes, a reflex. <laughs> and yeah, what is this? I have no idea. 
probably some wards. Inside the funnel we have two different kinds of arrows, two different kinds of babies which will be shot by creature. We have the ones which are um, attached to the arrows from Lego Technique and then I have three or four different ones. Let's see how many we can get in there which are just decoration. Yeah. <laughs> the teeth and outline for the lips and now we can prepare the Lego Technique arrows yeah. and also coated with the foil because Lego pieces not good putting into the oven. I'm somehow an expert right now on putting Lego pieces into the oven. They shrink or they to get bigger, well, I can't remember, but they change. I made this mistake um, during the Coridon vehicle, which I created the perfect way to combine Lego together with clay. These are, well, not really sure if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube, nipples for breasts. We remove the Lego piece if you hear later some beeps over here, you know that I said some stuff which I'm not allowed to. This is um, the entrance for the arrow and also your hand in the game. Um, yeah, I thought it would be funny to have another nipple as trigger for the weapon. And we are getting to some beautiful details. This is one of the babies which I sculpted entirely, the whole body. Not really sure what the use will later be, but this one I just needed. I wanted to create a full body baby, which then can be shot. And after oven hardening, we can remove the aluminum foil. Again, don't put Lego pieces into the oven. Bad idea. They shrink or they grow. Well, they change. And especially when you have Lego Technique pieces, which should do the functional stuff, um, they won't work after that. So, the nipple trigger is added together with the entrance. And with some super glue, we are attaching, we're adding all the babies. Two different kinds, the ones with the arrow and just some decorational babies. Hit the bell, subscribe if this video is blowing up and gets at least 13 views. I'm considering to make part two. I tried to convince Crystal to create another part where we are building another three weapons. <gasps> we lost one of the nipples. The tip of the nipple. Sounds like a movie. Tip of the nipple, tip of the nipple, tip of the nipple. Try to say this three times and then subscribe. <laughs> I'm excited! We will now shoot with the creature. Let's see how it works. If it works. Oh. Maybe another one. This is so <laughs> satisfying. Now the whole body baby. Here are some more videos to enlighten you. Hit the bell, subscribe! Tip of the nipple, tip of the nipple.